Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is understanding Power Automate Recurrence Trigger, also known as the Schedule Trigger. Let's go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about why this episode is important. So don't assume that when you set your Cloudflow to run at a particular hour, that it'll always run at the top of the hour. So for example, 12 o'clock, right at 12 o'clock. By default, when you go ahead and configure your Cloudflow and your recurrence trigger, the hours are specified when you use the new Flow Wizard. And I'm gonna show you this on the following slide itself. But what you may not know is that Microsoft will, depending upon the load, redistribute those requests over that hour time frame period, meaning between 12 o'clock 00 and 12.59 as an example. And this is really just to ensure that the overall platform is running smoothly. Um, but some people might assume that, hey, I want this to run at 12 o'clock. Um, it always runs at 12 o'clock 00, but it's more of at these hours of 12. And so that's kind of an important distinction. So really the purpose of this video or the sort of the, the gem within this video is that there's an advanced options feature that allows you to specify at these minutes. So by default, you're already specifying at these hours, which in this case could mean 12 o'clock. But then I can say at these minutes, which I could go ahead and specify 00, so 12 o'clock, or I could also say 12 10 if I wanted to by specifying at these minutes. So it's one of those things where if you really need your Cloudflow to run at 12 o'clock on the dot because there's some sort of business need, then you need to go ahead and specify at these minutes. Now, if you just want it to run once a day and you're okay with a little bit of variance between 12.00 and 12.59, then you don't have to go ahead and set those parameters and then, you know, it'll run sometime within that period. It will run, but it just may not be always at the top of the hour. And so the reason I'm recording this is I did run into a scenario with a customer where they were like, hey, why are my cloud flows kicking off at say 1237? I'm expecting them to be running at 12 o'clock on the dot. Uh, and for them, it was important that it did run at a specific time. So that's a great example of when to use at these minutes. The problem is it's not overly visible. You have to know that it exists in order to go ahead and to set it. So this is the, the wizard. I'm sure you've all seen this. Like if you go into the Power Automate Maker portal and you're in the My Flow sections and you click on New Cloudflow and then it's going to ask, like, do you want this to be scheduled? Um, you're going to see something like this. And so, for example, I'm going to say I want a daily run and it's always going to run at 12 p.m. and I'm going to repeat it every day. And so this could be an example of it will, you know, you notice how it says starting, it will start at 12 p.m., but it doesn't always guarantee that it runs exactly at that time. And so this is what we would see, like the default behavior, if we go ahead and provision that flow, it's going to add this specific trigger for us, and it's going to automatically populate at these hours of 12. And we'll see this value when we go ahead and click on the advanced options screen. And so that's why that's important to understand, you know, how this actually works because it's saying at these hours, it's not saying at 12 o'clock, it's saying at these hours of 12. And so that's where we have the opportunity to make it more specific by adding the minutes. And like I said, those minutes could be zero, zero, or it could be 15, or it could be 30, it could be 45, whatever you want. And then it'll actually go ahead and run at that specific time. So I don't have a, a live demo of this, but just to sort of show you how it works is that when I do specify at these minutes of 10, we can go ahead and see that it does run when we want it to. And so we can go ahead and put, you know, zero, zero in there if it has to run there. The other thing to note is that, you know, depending upon when you run this, it's, you know, you may not run into this issue. Uh, so it's one of those things where you might have some predictability where you're saying at these hours of 12 and it is running at zero, zero. Um, but it's one of those things where when there's a lot of volume, when there's a lot of load, you know, perhaps more so during like business days than others, you might run into that drift. And, and that's why it's important just to go ahead and to uh, specify when needed, um, if it's really important. If it's, if it's not important, then you don't need to bother. As long as you know that it needs to run once a day and it needs to run sometime between 
12 and 12.59, then, then you're good with the at these hours, but the, the minutes is naturally um, important when it is dictated by your business process. All right, so a short video today, but thanks for going ahead and checking this out. If you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and find me at Weirzy. Obviously, you're on YouTube. Like, subscribe, comments, always welcome. Uh, thanks again for checking out this video, and we'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye.